Hi guys, I want to pause DIY. In this video, we're going to be doing a zombie doll. It's a little different to what I usually do. I actually got inspired to do this by watching a YouTuber by the name of Sugar Charm Shop, who does some fantastic customs. Um, she does some customs on custom dolls like this, as well as um, customs on action figures. And I'll leave a link in the description below to her channel. Unfortunately, three months ago she decided to leave YouTube and it was around that time that I actually discovered her channel. So um, please go and check it out even though she's no longer making videos. The channel's still active and there are some fantastic customs on there. So as I've mentioned in previous videos, I managed to delete a lot of footage of different uh, projects. I'm now calling this now the, the uh, camera purge. Um, I, I, I pretty much deleted uh, video footage from all my customs uh, so as you can see I've, <coughs> I've got quite far ahead on this one and uh, done all the detailing so what I've decided to do is go out and buy another doll which is similar and I'm going to show you on this one how to get it to this stage and beyond with painting to make it like a zombie, a zombie doll so let's get started Okay, so the first thing you want to do is decide on what design you want for your zombie. Uh, as you can see in this one, I've decided I've cut away the majority of the mouth, and I've also made a, a indent in the forehead, as well as a few scars as, as well. I've chopped off the nose. All this detail in here is done with milliput, but uh, I'll get to that later on. So I'm going to do something similar again. On this one and a scalpel knife or exacto knife would be better unfortunately all I've got is this please be very careful if you're going to attempt this and this is a very soft rubber so the Stanley knife blade will cut through quite easily and it is very easy for it to slip out and cut yourself so please be very careful So as you can see I've uh, cut away the face, I actually accidentally cut the chin off, but it's absolutely perfectly fine if you if you do something like this it's fine because it's just going to add to the effect of the uh, finished product of the zombie once you've finished. So I'm just going to chip away a bit more of that edge there, just to open that up. And also I'm going to add a bit of detailing around this side of the face. I'm happy with the cutouts that I've made and next what I'm going to do is I am going to take the, hat, the head off and pack the head with some newspaper and all that's going to do is pack out these holes so that when you apply the milliput it doesn't just push straight through into the hollow head. The head has now been removed and I don't actually have any uh, newspaper but if you can use uh, normal paper if you don't have any newspaper so let's uh, get this pattern that is quite a small hole but uh, if you try and get I've cut them into strips try and thread it through that hole as well as and you can squeeze this to pack it in there as well you've got all the paper stuffed in to the point where it's uh, slightly protruding out through the holes that you've made or 
gashes that you've made in the face. The next part is very much uh, your own device really. You, you can mould it whichever way you want and it can go any way you want it really. Um, I suggest that the best tools to use are these rubber sculpting tools and they are really good for getting intricate details into the small spaces, small uh, gashes that you've uh, created on the face itself. So I'm going to time lapse the next bit and do just that. Also for this uh, project I'm going to be using the Milliput Superfine White, uh, mainly because it's says exactly what it says on the tin, it's super fine and it's uh, very good for detailing when it comes to intricate details. Just spent 13 minutes uh, doing this, and, uh, and hopefully the time lapse will reduce it down quite a bit. Uh, but as you can see, I've uh, sculpted what I want my zombie to look like. This one's missing an eye, and you won't be able to see that pupil once I've uh, put the primer, grey primer, over it. I'm going to leave this to dry, and we'll come back and prime it, and then we'll go in and add detail with paint. As you can see I've gone ahead and primed it with some uh, white uh, primer, I've also shaved away all the hair and now I'm going to go in and paint the face and make it all gory.
Right, I'm happy with the base colour and this was a mixture of um, Kislev Flesh Tone and a mixture of black and white mixed together. So I'm going to leave that to dry and then I'm going to go in and apply all the gory blood and uh, brain matter detailing after the base colour has dried. This is just a, an old t-shirt that I've cut up and I'm going to be using this to make a t-shirt and the best way to do this is just to lay your figure on top of the piece of material you're going to be using and just draw around the figure. like so and then cut it out and repeat and so you've got two cut out exactly the same okay now I've got two uh, cut outs exactly the same and through the magic of editing the shirt is made and I put it on I had to I actually cut it uh, made it a bit too tight so I had to snap off the arms and uh, slide then take the head off slide it over and then glue the arms back in place i've also cut the hand off this one and I'm want the next step is to paint uh, the arms neck and put some blood on the stump paint the legs i've also gone in and cut a slit in the back of the ankle so that the feet will bend forward uh, so sh the figure will be able to stand and then I'll fill that in with a bit of milliput. So here I'm using a mixture of brown and grey mixed together to um, weather the top and the trousers. I'm being very random, just doing it in sporadic places. And then next step is to bloody it up. Now I'm using model, uh, model red paint here and what I'm doing first is I'm going to uh, just dip the brush in without mixing it that way you'll get the darker red and then um, I'll go in and mix up the red and apply it uh, for the brighter red in places okay so here I'm reapplying the blonde hair that I cut off the figure in the first place and I'm just reapplying it using super glue and I'm just I'm going to be blending the top in with a bit of paint and then weathering the hair itself with some grey and a bit of brown uh, acrylic paint just to give it that uh, decomposed look.
Okay guys, we are all finished with these uh, two customs now. I just wanted to quickly show you the uh, first one that I lost the footage on. Uh, I used the same technique with the t-shirt laying the figure over, drawing around it and I created a dress for this one. Now this one it takes inspiration from the zombie girl at the beginning of The Walking Dead and I think this one is probably my favourite. I went a bit overboard with the blood, but I do like the blood and gore on that one. But uh, I do like the eye on this one and the detailing I did. Because uh, on this one I spent more time on this one uh, and I was really, really upset when I <laughs> deleted the footage. And just focus in there. But yeah, this one came out really well. And as mentioned, I loved the mouth and I was just fell over. I love the mouth on this one and all the detailing on the eyes and the gash in the in the forehead and then that little gash there in the chest is probably is worth uh, I've made the detail there so that it shows up where she kind of got bit type thing so yeah guys as I mentioned this was very different to what I usually do what I usually do there <laughs> my usual customs are in the background so this is um, very different but I had so much fun doing this. I've left a link in the description below to the YouTuber where I got the inspiration to do these from and she does some fantastic customs and again it's a shame that she's left YouTube uh, but please check her out and if you'd like to see me do more customs like this uh, I've been thinking of doing because these are the um, Monster High dolls so they do have the male one, so I was thinking of doing a male zombie as well. And if you can think of any other gory type customs I could do, leave a comment below. If you like these kinds of things, please like and subscribe. We are very close to 2,000 subscribers. So let's have a proper up-close final reveal.